Get up and go with Duncan and Carly on demand. Weirdo Wednesday. Open our app, chat with us right now. Tell us something that you do that others around you think is kind of strange, or if they knew that you did it, they would think is definitely strange. Open our app, chat with us, or call 507 281 2400. Carly, you've got a smile on your face. <laughs> uh, Meadow in Rochester says that I think I might be weird because I have at least 20 squishmallows on my bed right now. Okay, my daughter has two of those on her bed right now. It depends on your age. I think if you're six or seven, acceptable. Squishmallows are so cute, though. That's why I was smiling, because I love Squishmallows. <laughs> if you're 30 and you've got 28 of them on your bed or whatever, that might be a little weird. I have I have two, and they're on the guest bed. Are they, like, characters? Or are they no. just big pillows? Um, Mine are actually pretty small. I have a pretty small unicorn one that it's like the size of like <laughs> okay that's what my daughter has I think. <laughs> <laughs> the size of a like a, a regular beanie baby if that makes sense yep. it's one of those small ones that's tiny yeah and then there's one that's a little bit bigger than that that's a little frog i got both of those from a friend so <laughs> okay the ones my daughter have they, i mean they're like twice Huge. the size of a beach ball yeah yes. they're big i love those they're, they're so cute <laughs> um yeah i don't know if that's weird i think it's yeah kind of <laughs> Just the amount. If you had one or two, no big deal. Sure, right, right. But you got. Tw- How do you even fit into bed? I I don't know. I don't know. That's a great question. All right. Thanks for playing along, Matto. Owen and Austin chatted in, said that half of his family likes burnt popcorn. It's very weird. That's gross. Burnt popcorn is like the worst kind of burnt food. Because like I'm down with burning my marshmallows and putting them in a s'more. I think that tastes kind of good. I'm trying to think like there are foods that are good when they're burnt. Yeah. Hot dogs. Yeah. Not mad. Burger, marshmallows. Burgers. Yeah. yeah. Burgers dry out though. True. Um. Honestly, if there's a little part of my bacon that gets burnt, I'm not mad. Some people like, like toast. I like really crispy bacon. Some people like toast really toasted. <laughs> like really. And I'm not one of those people. Close but, to burnt. <laughs> yes. <laughs> popcorn, though. No, that Mm-mm. is. Burnt popcorn is nasty. I think that's weird for sure. Okay, Carly, help me out with this one. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I don't even know if I want to say this girl's name. Oh, Lord. <laughs> she said she it is weird on Wednesday, everybody. She wants to know if she's weird because she has to get naked to go to the bathroom. I've heard of people doing this. I've never met anybody that does or I've never met anybody willing to admit that they do it. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Is that weird? I think that's a little odd. Yes. I think it's kind of weird. Like, what do you do if you're at a gas station? Well, and I don't understand why. I'm sure. Like you like you said, I think it's a thing. But I don't. Yeah, I guess I don't understand why. I'm going to look it up right now. (laughs) Oh, my gosh. There's lots of stories about this. Huh. Okay. This psychologist told the New York Post that men are more likely to do it Hmm. because it gives them a, quote, greater sense of comfort and freedom. And they don't have to worry about creating a mess. Like, Just do better. (laughs) There's a a big bowl in front of you. You're sitting on it. You aim there. (laughs) That's so funny. Uh, Yeah, that's kind of weird, but I don't think you're alone. Okay, so Insight Psychology has several reasons why people might do this. Okay. They want to keep their clothes clean, which you're not going to do because you got to put them somewhere in the bathroom. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, (laughs) It allows for more flexibility. (laughs) How hard are you working in there? (laughs) (laughs) And also, what are you wearing? Yeah. If it requires you to take it all off. It feels more natural. Okay, I could I could okay. kind of understand that. Yeah. And then this one makes the most sense to me. It goes back to your childhood. Oh. When your parents were potty training you, they might have had you stripped down naked. Oh. So you didn't make a mess. Interesting. And so now that's kind of stuck with you. Right. Like, you got to grow out of that. It's, uh, that's really interesting. The human brain is uh-huh. weird, man. All right. It is Weirdo Wednesday. If you'd like to play along this morning, open our app and chat with us and tell us something about yourself that others think is kind of weird. Okay. We've got one more for today. Brittany in Rochester chatted in. She said, as a kid. I would smell every bite of food before I would eat it. Every bite? Not smell the meals. Every bite. 
<laughs> Hopefully I'm going out of that because that would be weird. Imagine going it on a sounds, date with her. <laughs> it sounds like she must have because she specified as a kid. Okay. <laughs> That's so funny. I bet she still does it every once in a while. You know. Fork goes up to her mouth but keeps going right to her like, nose. <laughs> <laughs> that is weird. Oh, that's so funny. But like if your kid did it, he'd be like, cute. Now yeah. don't do that anymore. Yeah, <laughs> stop. Why are you doing that, weirdo? <laughs> All right. Open our app and chat with us right now or call 507-281-2400. What makes you a weirdo? There might be a tax added to deliveries here in Minnesota. Deliveries on anything. Your groceries, your Grubhub, your... Uh, Amazon. Amazon. Yeah, yeah like, your Amazon deliveries. So how much is it? It would be a 75 cent tax. Which doesn't sound like a lot. Until you order everything. Well, literally, like everybody orders everything now. Your groceries, I your... I mean, my neighbors, it's a, it's a fun game we play. We just sit and watch how many times UPS or FedEx comes during the day. Because <laughs> they get everything. Their dog food, like everything comes from Amazon and shipped yeah, to them. Yeah, that's true. So if, I mean... That that's going to add up for a lot of people. Yeah. So no word on if it's actually going to happen, but it's in talks right now. And of course, people are like, what the heck? <laughs> so it's worth mentioning. All right. You can read more about that right now on our app. Illinois was named one of the best states to vacation this summer, which is pretty sweet because it's so close. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you got Chicago, Uh huh. which is fun. What else is there? I'd say it's mostly Chicago. It's okay. <laughs> okay. It's just Chicago. So they say that it has a lot of uh, affordable hotel rooms available. Yep. Has a high attraction score on their on their survey. Um, and, you know, obviously they've got the Cubs and the White Sox and they've got water parks. Shopping and, and all sorts of good stuff. Yeah. Uh, concerts all the time. Millennium Park. And mm. yeah, all these things. So it was the third best state to visit this summer. Do we have the top three? Cool. Uh, we have the top 20, actually. Give us a top three. The we top don't have time th- for 20. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> number three is Illinois. Okay. Number two is Florida. And the number one state to vacation this summer is Virginia. Virginia? Which is kind of surprising, but Virginia's cool. So I'd be down. All right. You can check out the full top 20 if you're planning a summer trip and you want some ideas. You can check that out right now on our app. And finally, we've got a new Mexican restaurant here in Rochester. It's called 1910 Fresh Mexican Kitchen, and it looks tasty and fresh. (laughs) So I got to shout out Paula, one of our great listeners. She was the first person in town to eat at that restaurant when they opened yesterday. Cool. And she said it was really good. She sent me a message on Facebook with some pictures and everything. Nice. It was really, really good and worth checking out. There's this drink that has like fresh mangoes or something in it yeah on the 106.9 so KLC app you can check out pictures of some of their menu items all of the food looks look at the guac i know it's chunky it looks really That's good some good guac <laughs> yes. all right get more details on that and more local news right now on the 106.9 KLC app pizza yeah pizza's on the list pizza is on the list where does this come from this is from a survey by OnlineCasinos.com. Okay. <laughs> it's the top seven drunk food cravings. Pizza's on the list. This is in no particular order, by the way. Cheeseburgers. Uh, No, actually. Tacos? No. Uh, quesadillas are on the list. Breakfast food, also on the oh, list. Oh, yeah. I got to get yourself an Egg McMuffin. Mm, French fries. Okay. That's an obvious uh-huh. one. Uh, onion rings. Okay. Chicken wings and mozzarella sticks. Appetizers. Yeah, basically. <laughs> Just order the appetizer sampler from Perkins. <laughs> you'll be good to and go. And you'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> There's an actor who now has children spanning over 50 years. Robert De Niro welcomed his seventh child at the age of 79. Okay. <laughs> so I looked up all of his kids. You ready for this? Yep. He's got a daughter who he adopted in 76. Okay. Drena is now 51. He's got a 51, 51 year old and a newborn. Mm-hmm. Ah. She's the oldest. Raphael is 46. Aaron and Julian are twins. They're 27. Elliot is 25. Helen is 11. And now baby number seven was born recently. I've got a seven and eight year old, and I can't imagine starting over with a newborn. Having- <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> 
Duncan and Carly. Weekday mornings on 106.9 KROC.